Hey, um, so today I received um, one of my two uh, Don't Eat the Gum boxes. Um, I ordered a Monsters box as well as a Valentine's Day box. And I can never remember, but I, I'm pretty sure I paid 50 for each. Um, one of them came in. I'm not sure which one. Um, so once we get into the box, then I can... We can figure out if it's the Monsters or the Valentines, but Don't Eat the Gum is a small business owned by Kevin Kennedy, and he does specialty boxes. He also does non-subscription, non um, so whenever you feel like ordering um, different priced boxes. So sometimes he has like a slasher box. Um, I've seen him have the Monsters box before. Um, there's a weekly themed box, which is themes... Um, that he chooses um, and then you can also get your own box which is um, something I got before and I loved so you could do your own favorite franchises favorite movies characters um, and he will work out something amazing for you um, so let's dive into this box so this came fairly quickly I'm so excited to see what's inside and it's like, I'm working from home, so I'm on my lunch break, and this is my outfit of choice today. Like, hi. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's not be a goofball anymore. Ooh. Oh, I wanted these so much. These are so cool. So these are Trick or Treat Studios. Um decorations i love these because <laughs> i have a collection of vintage halloween uh, wall decor which is similar to this um and these are halloween which oh it's my favorite franchise so i'm gonna go on a whim and say this is not the valentine's day box but let's keep going oh wait so this is the valentine's day box because <laughs> the monsters let's just keep going <laughs> Before I confuse myself even more. Huh. Okay, so this is the Valentine's box. So this is definitely the Valentine's Day box because this picture says love on it. So it's a picture frame. What's the picture inside? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is so funny oh true love <laughs> I love that that's a horrifying movie that we all love <laughs> so there's a, a goodie bag with blood splatters we'll go through that in a little bit all this amazing tissue paper. Um, I'm in my kitchen today. <laughs> oh, yes! Okay, so. This is the minor Toonie Terror. And I did leave a note for Kevin. I, I asked that hopefully something from about bleh, my bloody Valentine <laughs> is in this box because I love that movie. Um, I just really liked it. Anyway, so this is the minor Tony Terra. Look, he's got a Valentine. That is so cool. And it comes with like a little scene setting. I love this. I love this. There's one more thing in the bottom. Ah, a special box. And it's so funny. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Um. I guess, well, I guess, okay, I kind of do. Um, I'm not big on it at all. It's funny because I was told that Valentines were discovered or the first Valentine was in my city. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. I've seen it many places. I've seen it posted in my own city. Um, anyway, um, so I don't celebrate, but I do make valentines with my little one as well as my husband we just make valentines together as well as bake sweets and 
have like themed candy and jelly beans and I do make a wall for him that's Valentine's themed. Um, so for him I do celebrate but I don't like the holiday. Um, I just I think it's fun to kind of decorate a little bit. Anyway, so this is the box. <clears throat> like no lie, if I get flowers, unless they're for my son, I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't know why. It feels so, it feels very generic to me. And I think it's because growing up, like I heard people saying like, oh, you messed up. Like you better get her flowers or like not personally, but just people around me. And then I did receive flowers like once or twice, but it was when the person that gave them to me kind of fucked up. So it's just like a negative connotation with me. Anyway, let's see what's inside. <gasps> oh my God. This pretty paper. Um, cookies, specialty cookies. Ready. Ready. Oh, so pretty. And Chucky. Oh, I have to share this with my kiddo. And Chucky. So cute. Oh my gosh, thank you. These are so cute. I think that's it for this inside. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Oof. Um totally bedhead this morning. Okay. And still this afternoon, like, haven't done much to it. Okay, so th this is what's in the bag. I'm in shambles today. I've been so busy that I'm just, like, in shambles, and I wanted to get this open. <laughs> just trying to get my work done, so. Oh, there's so many. Okay, I'm just going to dump everything out. I love this. Oh. I always reuse those. They're so amazing. They're just so fun. Huh? I love nerds. Invisible? No. <laughs> okay, so Valentine. I read that backwards. Valentine nerds. And they're, oh my gosh. Hi. Um, strawberry and fruit punch. They smell so good. Oh, I love, I love these. Sour, sour trolley bites. Sour bright crawlers minis. <laughs> oh, I love sour pet kids so much. <gasps> yes. So I'm gonna share these obviously with my little one because he's just like mommy. And he loves gummies and anything sour. Oh my gosh. What is this shape? Warheads. I can't tell, but you have sour power warheads. Oh, these bring me back. I used to love like those sour things that like would make you like want to throw up because you're, it's like, can you like eat the candy? And I'm like, can I? <laughs> Strawby, Laffy Taffy. Anything chewy is so good. Another one of these. Feeling sweet. More nerds. Oh, these take me back, man. The grape nerds, like those big boxes um, with like one on each side. I think they still make those, like two different flavors. So I think that's, there's one more candy. And it's a Laffy Taffy. Oh, it's a Laffy Taffy grape. Oh, I love grape. And let's try and do the stickers. What is this? <gasps> is this a tattoo? I have my eye on you. <laughs> Tattoo. This is so cute. I love zombies. I love this. Another one. Oh, I can share these. Man, I'm sure you were thinking about my kiddo, Kevin. Because he loves having tattoos like mommy. Oh, my boyfriend. This is from Knee High Horror. It's um, a pin. Oh, this is so cool. Michael Myers. Oh my gosh, can you see that? <laughs> Look at all the little hearts. I love this so much. <gasps> Ooh. 
Top Toxic Tunes Trick or Treat Studios. Vanilla scent. Fear freshener. I have a little trick or treat pail that's kind of going. It's like the scent is gone. So now I can put this up. It's a zombie. Oh, this one's good. That is very cool. The spook mobile. Which is actually. Okay, so my car is actually a Decepticon, thanks to my kid. <laughs> Which is actually really cool. My bloody Valentine. There's more than one way to lose your heart. Now I really want to watch this tonight. <laughs> I think I'm going to. Is this Hannibal Lecter? I, oh my god, it's Hannibal. <laughs> Sticker. Man, this hair today. <laughs> oh, I think this is The Purge. But I'm not sure. I haven't seen any of The Purge movies. I'm actually, like, not sure what, it's, what that's from. But it's very cool. Oh, It and Georgie. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm sorry about that sun over there. There you go. Pennywise. <laughs> I love this. A face hugger. Hug me. Pin. I hope you can see this. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and, um,. Let me open your box. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hellraiser. Let me open your box. Come on, man. So that's it. That's my box. Um, I can't wait to look at everything again and eat this candy. And this is very cool. I'm actually, like, really, really happy. I wasn't sure if this was the monster or the valentine, so sorry for the confusion, but this is the Valentine's Day box, and um, soon I'll be getting the other box, and I can review that as well. Um, so anyways, I'll put all that info for Don't Eat the Gum boxes uh, below in the description, and thank you for watching. Peace.